Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are y'all doing today? Um, I am feeling cute. <laughs> um, I've just been playing around in makeup and just figuring out what other makeup things I want to film. I also wanted to start by thanking you guys for um, really like engaging in my recent fragrance video because even though that didn't get the usual views that it gets, it's not necessarily just views, it's engagement. And I had so many fun conversations with you guys in the comments. I got more engagement on that than some of my other like more popular videos. So I really enjoyed filming that. And because of that, I've already been filming like more fragrance content because those of you who tuned in really, really, really enjoyed it. So I had so much fun doing that video and you guys had so much fun watching and I just really become like a fragrance nut. Um, so I mean, why not share it with you guys, right? So today we talking about hair. So I got a lot of requests for this video because you guys really enjoyed the one that I did um, last year for the win for winter time. So this is going to be my summer stash video. So the point of this video is for me to isolate specific products that I plan on focusing on during this time of year. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that um, not every product is going to play well in every season, right? We talked about this in my regimen video, which I will link up above. Climate really does affect the way that your hair plays with products. And so there are some things that I cannot get away with using in the summertime. Now, of course, disclaimer, um, there are certain products that I use year round, all the time, you know, winter, spring, summer, fall, all of that. Those are products that you guys have seen on my channel time and time again. So if it's not here, don't fret, I still love it. But this is a focused video on things that I specifically feel like I want to work on using during the summer or that work really well for the summer and the vibe that I'm going for. So if you're interested in seeing what I have in my summer stash, because I have a lot here that I really want to work on using this season, then keep watching. <laughs> so let's start with this first because I have a video coming up on this brand very soon as soon as my package gets here. Um, and this is the Pattern Beauty Leave-In Conditioner and this defines and moisturizes. So you guys know I absolutely enjoyed this leave-in conditioner when I used it in my initial review. I still really enjoy it. The only thing is that at certain points this smell will actually really bother me. Um, I actually mentioned this in my disappointing products video solely because of the smell. There are days, especially like if I'm feeling like really hormonal, like I don't know if you guys are like this, but when my cycle starts, certain smells really bug me. To an extent, I don't pick this up as much as I would like to for what it is. This is a bomb leave-in conditioner and a lot of naturals really, really love this out of everything and the range of Tracy's products, this is one that people really love. And I really love it. It's just sometimes the smell can really, really bother me. But this is a really nice, like lightweight, penetrative conditioner. Um, if you really like She Scented, Curl Origin, Sultanicals, leave-in conditioners, I feel like you would really like this because it has a similar quality, but I find this to be a little bit more emollient. It makes my hair super shiny. It really defines the curls. I want to use this a lot more because I found that um, in the heat and stuff, the pattern products did really, really, really well for me. I definitely want to work on using this a little bit more because it's a really, really, really good leave-in conditioner. Um, it's just sometimes the smell is just a little overbearing. Okay, next up is I'm sure y'all already guessed it. She sent it. Um, I use a lot of my She Sent It products year round, but there are some things in particular that I feel like are really just gonna be like hitting for summertime. So first things first, if you have been watching me, I'm sure you already know what I'm going to say. Tahiti cocktail, man, like, y'all already know, when I did the review of these products last year, I did it very late <laughs> and I was mad at myself because just the sheer work of art that this made my hair for summertime was just like insane. Um, here in my hands, I have the Curl Enhancing Jelly Custard, which I absolutely love. Um, and I haven't touched it 
um, since last summer, like I would say around like August, beginning of September, uh, simply because it's so good for humidity. Like this just created a humidity shield around my hair. And for my fine strands, that's great. Like I have, I have hair that's so fine that when I go outside and it's really humid, my curls will start to straighten, like literally. Um, I wish that were an exaggeration and it's not. And this totally kept my hair from doing that. I could have, honestly, I could have had this in my hair for probably 10 days and it wouldn't have gone anywhere. It's beautifully holding. It's definitely a humidity shield. If your hair thrives off of pulling moisture from the humidity, then you're not going to like this. You may find this to be drying, um, but I found that this held the moisture in my hair very well. High humidity dries my hair out. And so this really, really helps me out in that department. I also really love the Tahiti Cocktail Leave-In Smoothie. It's definitely like the thickest leave-in that she sent it makes. I mean, it does not run at all. It's definitely more like a cream but it smooths into the hair beautifully. This creates shine. It goes ahead and starts to allow the coils to really like get into motion and it mixes beautifully with its companion styler. And I also really love the Tahiti Cocktail Hydrating Iced Tea. I love to use this to refresh. Even now, like with my hair in a bun, before I go to bed, I will just spray the top of my head um, just to kind of rehydrate everything, it smells really good. So it's kind of like having hair perfume too, because all three of these products smell like, um, like a tropical sherbet. It's so good. Um, but this imparts really nice moisture without leaving the hair feeling tacky or gummy. But just this entire collection was really made for this time of year. And it shows because the products really do help if you live in high humidity areas. I love this stuff. So I'll definitely be using this just to refresh, you know, if I just feel like my hair just needs an extra spritz. The next one is something that I haven't really used a lot. Like I've used it a few times, but not a lot. Um, and that is the She Sent It Passion Fruit and Flax Creamy Leave-In and Curl Defining Jelly. Now I do have a video on all of the Passion Fruit and Flax products. The first video I uploaded, I used um, the detox, the leave-in, the deep conditioner, and the defining cream pudding. And then I also did a separate video on this jelly as well. If you just type it in the search, it should come up. So this is definitely one of my favorite leave-in conditioners from She Sent It. It's dope. It is creamy, but it's still a little fluid. Like it's not unmoving like the Tahiti cocktail, but it's like that perfect in-between. Leaves your curls feeling amazing, soft, supple, shiny, defined. Um, and it is glycerin free. And then I really like this curl defining jelly. This does use um, flax in here. That is not the main gelling agent in this. So this has, um, in the first five, there's water, passion fruit, aloe leaf, marshmallow root, and beet sugar. There is also some olive oil and carbamer, which is the main holding ingredient in this. There is flax in here, and there's also some Irish moss and pectin. So this is not going to be like a flaxseed jelly that you would get from other places. It has similarities to it, but it's definitely not, you know. So I absolutely love this, but I haven't used it in a while, and I'm definitely into that whole like effortless, big, slightly frizzy hair for the summertime. So I definitely am going to be using this a lot um, because I just feel like aside from the detox, I don't show these a lot of love. Um, so I definitely want to use this more. This reminds me a lot of my Apricot and Alipe curl duo. Y'all know I, I used to rock with that heavily and the only reason I never repurchased it was because I had these because I felt like they were so similar. I don't know if they sell that anymore though. I've seen the leave-in up, but I haven't seen the jelly up in a very long time. So um, if they do bring it back, I will definitely repurchase and use that throughout the summer too. But these are dope. Of course, my Plum Nectar and Agave Curl Perfection Style and Custard. I absolutely love this. It's an amazing custard. I've been using this a lot in the winter time. I just, I love the texture. It's a little whipped. 
it has more of that like it's definitely closer to a uncle funky's or curl maker than a lot of the other gels and jellies that they have in their collection i love it because it just has beautiful slip it has beautiful moisture it makes my curls just look so amazing like you guys know that she sent it is like my yes honey my hair is popping like wash day like whenever i have she sent it in my hair like my hair just looks stunning um so i absolutely love this i think honestly this is going to end up being a year-round product for me but just with the fluff and the bounce and the lightness but the sheer definition and shine that i get with this um it it has to be in my summer stash like it can't not be in my summer stash since we're in the she beauty brands family let's talk about curl origin yeah so of course curl origin y'all know i love me some curl origin it's <laughs> curl origin is definitely like another one of my favorite brands it's another brand that gives me some of my best wash days curl origin is like she sent it more emollient sister basically so i have the marula and quinoa pure flaxy curl defining gel um and i'm like i've used like two-thirds of it i love this this is definitely more of that traditional flaxseed gel type and the second ingredient is flaxseed extract so you can tell some more of that flaxseed gel situation i love the smell on their products um i absolutely love this it has a great slip and i love to use it with its companion leave-in i just didn't pull it down because I had enough stuff sitting in front of me. <laughs> I definitely want to get more use out of this. I used it on a day where it was really cold and my hair looked amazing. Like it was a beautiful, a beautiful big fluffy wash and go, but I felt like it would suit me better in the summertime where there was a little bit more humidity and things going on. Um, because I do tend to go a little bit heavier in the, in the fall and winter. So I'm definitely going to be using this a lot as well as the honey and hibiscus curl enhancing gelée. I absolutely love this as well. I haven't used this as much as I have used the plum nectar and agave only because plum nectar and agave is my baby. But they have a lot of, of similarities to them. But um, this one I would say is definitely a little bit thicker. This does have different gelling agents in it as well. So you may like this a little bit more than the She Sent It and you may end up liking the She Sent It a little bit more than this. Really just depends on your preferences and what your hair tends to gravitate towards, but I love this too. This collection in general worked amazingly for me. So these are the two Curl Origin ones that I'm focusing on. I do have another styler from Curl Origin, but I use that year round. And then next up, we'll go through this really, really fast. This is the um, leave-in and curl defining styling gel from the TGIN curls and roses collection so this is their rose water collection i recently reviewed this i will link it up in the cards above um i love this stuff it's so good if you have struggled with tgin because i feel like their products do tend to be a bit on the heavier side um that i highly suggest checking this out i love the moisture and hydration that it gives my hair it makes my hair shiny bouncy this this gel right here, oh, they headed out the park with this. I have two more over in my little stash. Um, I went ahead and purchased two more because that's how much I love this. Um, like I said in that video, I don't think I will ever have to purchase Curl Bomb again because this is just amazing. Like, it's so good. I love this combination. I really enjoyed the mask too. This is an amazing collection. Like I said, if you struggled with TGIN products being a little too heavy, try these out absolutely love these next up these are two that i haven't used in a minute and i'm actually going to film with these today hopefully if the lighty if if the light can stay up because we look like we about to have a really bad storm um and this is the curls blueberry bliss reparative leave-in conditioner and curl control jelly so i plan on filming a classic combo with these because I haven't done one recently because I've been waiting to do one with my Kinky Curly. I've been trying to get the Not Today, guys, and every time I order it, something goes wrong. They forget to put it in my order. There's some reason why it can't ship. Like, it's been so annoying. So that's why I haven't been posting them because I've been wanting to do this and I can't get the damn leave-in. 
um it's just frustrating and so i said let me pick something else and so i decided to pick these um this used to be my like one of my number one leave-in conditioners you guys know i have a hot and cold relationship with curls because sometimes mahi should really be doing the most and it just she be getting on my nerves sometimes she really do she be getting on my nerves um the blueberry reparative hair mask that they have is one of my all-time favorite deep conditioners and i really do want to actually go ahead and purchase some more um because it's whenever i don't have it like i miss it i have so much stuff for me to miss a product, you know it has to be good, right? Um, but this used to be one of my top leave-in conditioners back in the day. Uh, I used like half of the one that I had. And then I think my brother used the other half because he has a tendency to steal my hair products. But I still have a full one. Um, and then also the Blueberry Bliss um, Curl Control Jelly. I have like also a hot and cold relationship with this product because I've had some really, really bomb wash and goes with this and I've had some questionable looking wash and goes. But now that I think about it, the last time I tried to use this, it was, I was having a really bad buildup issue. Remember when I told you that I realized Jane Carter Curls to Go was giving me like massive buildup? I had used this around that time. And so I think part of the reason why that wash and go really sucked was because of that. So I want to revisit it and give it its fair shot. Clearly I have been using it. I've used it a couple of times, but it definitely didn't get its fair shot. So I'm gonna be doing a classic combo video with this. So be on the lookout for that. And let's do the main choice. I actually came across, you know how Instagram will show you like posts from like a year ago or like four years ago. They showed me a post from four years ago. <laughs> um I can't believe it's that long since I've been like fully natural that was around the time where I had cut off like the last bit of my heat damage and it was the first time I had used these products and that was the soft as can be revitalize and refresh conditioner as well as the crystal orchid biotin infused styling gel now these are the old packaging they are now um now they're now called the alpha collection and you can get the new packaging on Ulta. But I absolutely love this conditioner, even though it, they did change it like some years ago because y'all kept complaining about the consistency. But it still smells the same and it still works really, really well, but it does kind of foam up a little bit. And I feel like they did that because one, people compl were complaining because they felt like it wasn't really a three in one. And then people were complaining about slit because it was a thicker cream back in the day I still love it it's just a little different but um I love to use these products when it's warmer outside this is so it's such a softening combo I love this I love the gel like I said I've never had flakes with the gel like I don't have issues with this but y'all know flaking flaking isn't really my problem when it comes to my hair and even then like sometimes when I do have flakes it's not enough flaking for me to be bothered by it like no one else would know <laughs> like it's not snowing it's just like a little bit of mm, there's a little bit of some in the air you know what i mean but maybe that's because i don't pile on products either but i really like this conditioner and i really love this gel they smell amazing they pair beautifully i mean it's it's just so good so every time i revisit this combo my hair looks amazing so i really like to use this when it's hotter outside because it gives me that like really beautiful fluffy effortless look so i'm going to be using these a lot and also no surprise to you guys i don't know where i put the leave-in conditioner but obviously i'm going to be using the amazon hair day a lot i told you guys i was definitely a fan of this and that review i reviewed this recently i'll also link it up in the cards or in the description box below it smells like lychee it has a really nice texture i would say the closest to the biotin infused styling gel to date um so i really enjoy this it gave me i don't know it just like it just made my hair look lush like it just felt so good like i said i have like a tiny tiny bit of flaking um but after that day, like after I fluffed it out, I didn't see anything else. So it's not enough for me to justify not using the product, you know? I really like this for warm weather. So I'm going to be using this a lot. 
also want to put my leave-in, the Prickly Pear Leave-In Conditioning Cream to more use, even though I've used it quite a bit. It takes a long time for me to get through Main Choice leave-ins because I'm really starting to realize how little leave-in conditioner I actually use. Like, I'm just not that heavy-handed person. Um, and I do use this quite a bit, but I really like how it makes my hair feel, especially in the warmer months. It just gives me that silky, soft um, leave-in situation. Quinn was the reason I really wanted to get this. And so when I had the opportunity, I went ahead and got the box. And I really enjoy this leave-in conditioner. I like to use this underneath that custard that she made that everybody hates. But I like to use this with that, you know. Um, but I also want to see what other things that I can use this with. Because I haven't tried to pair it with much else. So I'm a really big fan of this leave-in conditioner. And I just want to keep using it and just enjoy it throughout the summer months. And last but not least from the main choice, I have the Proceed with Caution for Away Conditioner and Look Both Ways Hair and Edge Gel. Y'all know I love this stuff. Um, I have the edge gel side of this in my hair right now. The holding power on this is just crazy. Like, <laughs> it's insane. But I also want to get more use out of the actual like wash and go gel too because I really enjoyed the wash and go that I got with this. It was soft and defined, but it had really good hold and it was super duper shiny. And this leave-in is a really nice, lightweight, penetrative leave-in and it has so much slip. The slip in this product is insane. So I really enjoy these two. And they have a really nice Japanese cherry scent and I just feel like it screams summer. So I'm definitely going to be focusing on using these a lot during the summertime too. This is the one product from Camille Rose that I have <laughs> that's going to be in this. Y'all know I love my Camille Rose products, but I think I've said several times that um, they're heavy in the moisture department and they just suit my hair better in the fall and winter time. I do have the Burici Nectar Repair Cholesterol Treatment. Now, when I use this, I use it in a self-care Sunday. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I felt like it didn't do much. But you guys know um, I really do prioritize, like, um, moisture protein balanced or a little extra protein deep conditioners in the warmer months because of how my hair reacts with the humidity in the air. Sometimes I need a little bit more protein. Um, and this is supposed to be um, a blend for dry, brittle, and lifeless textured hair. And I felt like it had potential, but it just wasn't really loud so I went and got a snack <laughs> and came back. Um, I have a little curly cue right here on my forehead. <laughs> okay so I don't remember what I was saying about this but basically I feel like it's probably going to be really good to have in the summertime with how my hair reacts. I'm just being out in the humidity all the time so I want to give it another fair shot because y'all know sometimes like you can try something and you think it's really, really bad, but then you try it again and you're like, oh wait. <laughs> That's what happened to, happened to me with the Ancient Egyptian and I actually got another jar of it just to see if my good experience with it was a fluke. Um, I definitely wanna give it another shot, see if it kinda helps me through, you know, these warmer, more humid times. And, ooh, y'all, I got this at the height of it being hyped up. I think I found it on eBay for a decent price. Um, because it never did come to a beauty supply in my area. This is the Style Factor Edge Booster. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I got it and never used it. But you know what part of the reason why I never used it was? I used this to just kind of like lay my edges down and I like tied it with a scarf, which usually works with a lot of my things, you know? Like it, it even works with wet line, even though I don't like a wet line. But this ain't really hold my hair down like that. <laughs> um, it smells amazing. I got it in the Sweet Peach scent. And this has been super duper hyped on YouTube. Um, Kimberly Sherelle and Jalen Natural Rain really put me on to wanting to try this. And I tend to like a lot of the stylers that they enjoy. Um, even though all three of us have very different hair types. And NJ Epperhart really loves this too. Y'all know I love a good strong holding gel. And really what usually makes a strong hold gel for me is the combo. You know, when you have um, fine strains like I do, you have to have 
a combo that accommodates these, you know, something that's going to be really hydrating and moisturizing without really weighing the hair down. So I do want to try to get more use out of this because it's always good to have um, some good stronghold gels in your rotation. And this is one that I want to try to add to that. So Style Factor Edge Booster. I'm super duper late to the party. I think a lot of people just don't even care about this anymore, but we gonna try it out and see. <laughs> um, so I do have the Nature's Little Secret Flaxseed Curly Custard. I've already started to use this more as it has started to get warmer outside. I love this stuff. It's so good. It's very similar to this. Um, these are very similar. If you like this, you'll probably like this. And if you like this, you'll probably like this. I just love it. I feel like it gives me really nice hold. Just something about the way the shape of my hair lays when I have this in for a wash and go is just like crazy. I can use it by itself if I want to. I love to pair it with my banana leave-in conditioner. I highly suggest this one. Um, I'll probably be pa pairing it with the banana leave-in, but I am going to try it soon with the avocado um, moisturizer to see which one I like more. This is an amazing curly custard. If you've been looking for a botanical gel, um, this is a really, really good one to have. Um, another loner product, this is the Curl Junkie Pattern Pusha Hair Styling Gel. This is the only one of the stylers that I've picked up from, from Curl Junkie that I have used yet. Um, and I really, really like the gel. The leave-in that I paired with this would definitely, like, it It was, like, on my L rice water collection. Like, it, it was not good. <laughs> it was not good. Um, but this I really liked, and it definitely saved the style in spite of the leave-in being very problematic. And a lot of you guys have given me some good recommendations on things to mix with this. So I definitely plan on using this more because it really gave me like that really nice, just like it set my curls in place and it just let them be what they were, you know? It also smells delicious too. Very like fruity. Mm -hmm. So I wanna use this more because I do actually really like the gel. Um, but this is definitely for someone who's going for that like effortless curl. You don't want something that's gonna be too much. You just want your curls to just look naturally them you don't want a ton of enhanced stuff you know um this is a really 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 good one and i love that it comes with a ton of product it's pricey but the packaging is huge the stylers that they have come in huge packaging so you're getting a lot of product for your money so i really enjoyed this and i want to get more use out of it i also want to put i haven't used this much um, my African Pride Moisture Miracle products right here. I have the Moisturize and Define Curling Cream, which I really liked paired with my Ren Pure Coconut Curling Jelly. I love the Moisture Miracle range. There are certain products in that range that I use more. Like, I think I used up the shampoo and I had a hard time getting it again, so I haven't repurchased it. But the Moisturizing Shampoo, bomb. The Pre-Poo Detangler, bomb. The leave-in, it's thick and creamy and rich, bomb. This cream, bomb. I just don't reach for them as much as my other products, but I remember them doing really, really well in the summer heat. Um, and so I'll use them from time to time, but I don't use them as much as I should. Also that spray leave-in, bomb. I'm really excited to start using this more. Also the, I think it's, is it Rasul Clay? The Moroccan Clay or Rasul Clay mask they have? That is also bomb. It's a great collection for like, if you're in college, you ain't got no money to be spending on products, or like I said, falling on hard times, or you're just a frugal natural, those are amazing natural hair products. Of course, y'all had to know this brand was gonna be in this video. Unicurl, I love me some Unicurl. So everything else in the range, I feel like I use pretty much like all the time. Um, of course, I'm going to be using the deep conditioner a little bit more now because that one is definitely further on the protein side for me and so I love it um but I just pulled this down just so I wasn't like had too many products in front of me but this is the custard I love this in the summer months um this is my older one I'm still working through it I have maybe like I would say one or two more wash and goes left Obviously, y'all know my old ones were the ones that were melted, but I still got really great results with them, so I still use them. Um, but I do have a fresh, brand new one with the right consistency, so I will be using that too. But I love this custard. Y'all know I love custardy 
things in general, but I just love the way it makes my curls look. It also kind of gives me that kind of effortless situation. It just feels so good in the hair. And I love using it with my uh, Daily Moisturizing Leave-In Spray, the Aloe Curl Spray. I love this. I've used a lot of this too. Um, I use this all the time with their Curl Fantasy Gel, which I also love, but I use that. That's a good year-round gel. Like it, my hair stays moisturized in the colder months, but it also feels really good in the warmer months too. So that one is a good year-round product. But this one's definitely gonna be coming out to play more because I love this stuff. Y'all know Unicurl? <sighs> Unicurl is my baby. Like I just, I love Alexis. I love the products. I love me some Unicurl. Two more stragglers. I have the Honey's Handmade Coconut and Apple Curl Glaze. If you saw this review, just go watch the review because y'all saw my reaction. The shine, y'all, this, this held my curls so well. It made them so shiny and beautiful and luscious. This has a nice hold, a great texture. It really grips onto the strands. And I did not have to use a lot of it at all. I haven't touched it because you know, obviously like the Melba's box is limited edition, but she recently did a Friday frenzy with, um, you could get these products separately for $8. And I got two more of this so I can go ahead and go full guns a blazing with using this because I love it. Also recently purchased the Ajwa Beauty Bale Mint Moisturize and Curl Defining Gel. I have been wanting to try this for a hot minute. Um, I've been loving the cream during the winter months I actually did a cream only wash and go with that like a few weeks ago and it was really pretty but this is definitely like a creamy gel it's very oil based they have a specific instructions on how to use it because this is a very concentrated product like all of their products are um these aren't products that you just glob on your head yeah that that don't work with this <laughs> you can't just be globbing it on and not giving a damn um, but I'm really excited to try this. I've heard that this gives amazing results. So, you know, I love my gels in the summertime. So we're going to see how this goes. And I also feel like this is going to be nice too, because it is heavy in the oils. I feel like this is going to be great for this time of year. Um, another brand I'm going to be putting to use a lot more is the Mono's Hair Curl Collection. Y'all know I love these products when I did the review and I still really enjoy them. I've been using them um mostly this curl co-wash and conditioner i love this i only have half a bottle left this is a really really good co-wash um i feel like i'm the only person that got like a slight suds with this i don't know what that's about but what i got in this bottle i love it <laughs> i really enjoy the curl primer as well this is a spray leave-in it has a lot of slick to it this is actually really great to blow my hair out with i got a lot of sneak sleekness to the style but this definitely has a little bit of hold to it as well and i really like using this curl setting gel um in the warmer months i don't feel like this does really well when it's cold because this isn't a super moisturizing gel this is xanthan gum based you have to be really careful with this um it this does not require a lot of product um none of none of her products do very concentrated and I ended up really liking this, so I actually feel like this has gotten a little bit thicker. Like it's not, whoa, that's so weird. Now that I haven't used it, you know, like for a little while, it actually has more of like a, it's almost kind of gelled up a little bit, but I really like it because it's thin. It's a really quick wash and go for me. Like. <laughs> I can just go ahead, spray this in just on like one half, one half, um, and then put this in. That's how I used it after I did that video. It doesn't take a lot. If you over apply, you're definitely going to get flakes. This is not a gel that everyone loves, but I actually really enjoy it. Um, but you definitely have to be that kind of person that likes that effortless gel kind of look. If y'all don't like that, you're not going to like this. But um, I, I tend to use Allocate a lot in the summertime um, because I just... I feel like one allocate is a classic like it's one of those brands that you know like it's going to be good regardless but I feel like her products work really really well for me in high humidity um so I have the lemongrass leave-in here and I have maybe two more uses of this bottle but I have another bottle already set to go this is the lemongrass leave-in it's an amazing leave-in it's packed with great nutrients it makes my hair shiny soft 
supple like it does just everything that i need a leave-in conditioner to do i love this and i also love the lemon grass hold it styling gel i'm almost out of this one too but i do have another backup on my shelf i love this gel so much um what i love about it is that it gives you that strong hold feeling kind of weighs the curls down but when you like scrunch it out your hair is so soft and fluffy and bouncy it makes my hair feel so good i absolutely love this gel and i love to use it in the um summer months it's really really good one product that i haven't used yet but i feel like is going to be like everything for summertime is the aloe berry styling gel i've had this for a minute but i haven't opened it and used it yet i'm really excited to um use this i feel like it's going to be good for the summer months it definitely has that like stronger whole gel consistency like she's wobbly similar to that berry set hold that i showed in my recent haul so i'm excited to use this too i think this is going to be a good one to have for the summertime and last but not least sultanicals so i have some products from sultanicals that i just use all the time and some that i just kind of have forgotten about um one that i want to put to more use is the slip and slide not proof hair glide i really like this this is um made with okra slippery elm there's marshmallow in here this is like ultimate slip um but the only thing i found is that it does kind of make some of my stylers foam up so i want to try using this someone said that this was really good with uncle funky's daughter so i'm going to try this um with uncle funky's but it's really good it gives a lot of great slip it also gives a lot of really good moisture this is going to be using the curl blaze hair glaze a lot more um this is one that i've had but i haven't actually put to use um this has marshmallow root coconut oil and blue malva this is more of a serum -y product it's very light um and so for me and the the type of look that I go for, this may do well by itself. Um, but I know a lot of people kind of use this as like a hair primer, like serum type situation. It smells really good. The texture is really nice. So we'll see how I like to use it. I'm definitely going to be um, doing a video with this product so we can see how my hair likes it. Another product I really like from them that I don't use a lot is the Frozen Drip and Grip Super Hold Gel. I'm gonna try this with Frizzways and see how I like it because like I said, um, I really love my wash and go with this and slip and slide, but it did make this foam up and I hadn't seen this do that in other people's videos. I just want to see if I can get like a different experience out of it, you know, so I'm going to be putting this to more use and the first time I put it to use again, I'm putting it with Frizzwiz to see how that goes. Very last product is something that I haven't used mostly because People are saying that this is a summer item, but I didn't see this come back on. This is the Clump and Curl Afro Vegan Styling Custard with olive squalane and castor oil. So I purchased it. I was hyped about it. I was going to do a video and then realized that you couldn't get it anymore. So um, I don't, I never know with Sultanicals. This has a really beautiful texture. I love the, what is it called? The Sprung Coil Boosting Jelly has a nice light fresh scent and it has really good um ingredients in it it is um carbomer based but there is some glycerin there's some btms um squalane so i'm really interested in seeing how this goes this is supposed to be nice and slippery as well so i definitely want to put this to use i just you know i didn't want to use it on camera and then like y'all not be able to get it but a lot of y'all said you didn't care so i'll show it to you anyway <laughs> okay guys so that is my summer stash i know that was a lot but like i said um i end up usually having to co-wash a little bit more in the summertime i tend to go through a lot more products in the summertime so yeah those are the things i'm going to be prioritizing um you can definitely tell that my my goal for this summer is fluffy carefree hair like that's that's my thing right now so i think all these products really fit well into that category and of course I had to throw some stronghold things in there too so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions down below what are the products you're going to be prioritizing for the summertime because i know we all have those products that just work better in certain seasons i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye